Hi boys and girls, so I'm coming to you with some ways to make your sidewalk chalk even more vibrant uh, than it probably already is. I just learned these tips and I wanted to share them with you because I just thought that they were so cool and all you need is a little bit of water and maybe a paintbrush. So here we go. So for our first tip, I've already drawn my uh, positive message with my sidewalk chalk, but if you've ever had this experience, sometimes the colors don't look as bright as I'd like them to be. So an easy way to do this, and I just picked up some brushes from the dollar store, um, I'm just going to paint right over them with some water. So I have a big bucket of water next to me, and I'm just going to clean off my brush every time I go to use a new color. So I'm then going to do the words first. just painting over everything that I've already made. This is going to smooth out my chalk and make it look more like a painting and less like sidewalk chalk. Then I have to make sure I clean out my brush really well because I'm getting a new color. I'm gonna start to paint over the purple. And again, this just makes it so that my sidewalk chalk, once it dries, looks like a painting and not like chalk on the sidewalk. It smooths everything out. my brush every time I grab a new color because just like when we're painting at school and in class, if I have a dirty brush and I dip it into a color, I might make it icky brown color and I don't want to do that. So I have to make sure that I'm cleaning my brush every single time. And there we go, that's tip number one. So when this dries, it's going to look more like a painting, more like a watercolor painting, and less like chalk. So let's go to tip number two. All right, so this one, this one's actually my favorite, but do keep in mind that it is a little bit of a chalk waster. So if you're going to do this one, make sure that you have a good amount of sidewalk chalk. So for this, I have a cup of water, and I'm going to be dipping my chalk into the water for about 10 seconds. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with yellow. I think I'm going to make a sun. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You don't wanna leave it in there for too long because then it's just going to ruin your chalk. So when I dip it in the water first, as you can see, it makes it so much brighter than if I just used it dry. But as you can see, it is wasting my chalk a lot. But it looks so good, I really don't care go on top with other colors so I'll use red next again I'm dipping so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I think I'm going to add it in the Sun a little bit so that it looks, looks fun I think I'll make it a spiral Look how bright that pink is. And then lastly, I think I'll go in with this blue because I'm really interested to see how it will look really bright. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wow, it is so blue. 
And when I do it this way, I'm also not getting, I don't know if you've had this experience before, but I've never really liked drawing with sidewalk chalk because I don't like the texture or the feeling of the chalk against the sidewalk because it's so bumpy. So when I'm doing this, it feels almost like I'm spreading butter across the ground or something. So that's tip number two. So let's go to our last step. So for this one, it's kind of like tip number two, except instead of dipping my chalk, I'm going to wet the ground beforehand. So this one's also really good if maybe it's rained the night before. Um, so now you can't say that you don't have anything to do because you can use the wet ground in order to make some art. So I'm just going to use a cup of water here and we're going to soak our ground first. So it's the reverse of step number, or uh, tip number two rather. So then, once my ground is nice and wet, similar to step, or to tip number two, I'm using the wetness to make my sidewalk chalk way more vibrant. So uh, for this one, I think I'll do like a rainbow. Again, look how much more vibrant it becomes. This one does waste some chalk too, but again, it's so bright and pretty, it's totally okay. And I do notice the wetter it is, the thicker it seems to lay the chalk on and makes it the chalk much brighter. So if you want a really bright sidewalk chalk drawing, really wet your ground. All right, so um, let's take a look one more time at all three tips so that you can see them all done. So this is tip number three. So what I did, I soaked the ground and then drew on it with the dry chalk. For step number two, I made sure that I dipped my chalk in the water, but only for 10 seconds. And last but not least, for tip number one, all I did, I drew my picture first, and then I went back with a cheap paintbrush and painted over everything. So I hope that that was helpful and I cannot wait to see your work on Padlet. See you later.